Good morning, sailors. We are here in Puerto Williams in Chile, and it's time to take the jib down. We ripped the leech cord on it on the way down here, so it needs a little bit of sewing. And if you look outside, this is about as good as it gets to play with sails. Oh, one thing you guys might notice is the little hissing uh, behind us. That's our diesel heater. He's finally running okay. As you guys know by now, we've had to battle him a few times. One time in Tenerife, uh, and then a few other times on the way down here. But uh, after a little bit of work, we finally got him figured out. Right, he pretty much came down all by himself, just the way we wanted him. As you guys can see right here, this is our leech cord. And right here is where uh, the stitching came undone on the leech. So you can see the fabric isn't damaged, everything here is okay. Uh, it's just that this stitching for this just came undone. I think it's old. Uh, UV damage. So we've also got some little things like this. Uh, the sun cover that has just been adding up over time. She's an old sail with a lot of miles, but we'll see if we can breathe some new life into her. All right, I've got to go downstairs and grab a set of snippers, and we're going to take off some of the safety wire that we put on our shackles uh, in order to fully remove the sail. The last thing we want is a shackle rattling off all the way up top. We would lose our halyard and then the sail would drop when we're offshore and be a real nightmare for us to handle double-handed. And of course, it would only happen in big breeze. Ready to ease. Ease faster. We heard about a sewing machine at the nearby sailing school, and our new friend Narciso, one of Chile's top sailmakers of racing sails, arranged for us to bring our sails in so we could sew it properly. We brought the sail in and saw Narciso and Pablo working on some projects of their own when they offered to do the sewing for us. Since neither of us had much experience with the machine and sewing sails, we took it as a learning experience to watch the experts and see how it's done. It came with the boat. <laughs> this is the original sail from the boat. Okay. Then they bought new sails and put it away. And then when I bought the boat,
After the stitching of the leech cord was repaired, a few other rips were given the full Chilean sail spa treatment. They even helped us replace the sail for transport back to the boat. Yeah, muy bien. <laughs> sí, muchas gracias. A little more. Good. Okay, down. Bueno. That rock you will expect. Yeah, buddy, our sail is back, huh? Want to go outside or inside? Uh, outside. Now that we've been around Cape Horn, it was time to stretch our legs and get a view of the Beagle Channel to the west as we prepare to sail to a new country. The Bandera Trail starts with a beautiful view of the Dientes de Navarino mountain range, which are named as such because of the jagged peaks that resemble teeth. We wouldn't make the few-day hike all the way there, so we settled for the Chilean flag at the top of the hill. Okay guys, we are leaving from the McAlvey here. We're at the mooring buoy, so you can't see our boat, but... We decided we are going to do the Bandera hike for Flag Hill. We're here, it's about an hour and a half each way. And it feels good to, to move our legs a little bit and breathe in some of this really nice fresh air. And Roxy couldn't be more excited. All right, let's go. We plan to sail to Ushuaia, Argentina, just a short 30 miles away across the Beagle Channel. It would be a good chance for us to see a bit of Argentina since we missed the entire country on our amazing weather window south from Uruguay. This would also allow us to reset our visas in Chile as we climb through the fjords of Patagonia. Hey guys, we have our mainsail up. We're sitting on the mooring right now. We are just about to drop our mooring line and then we will be off to Ushuaia. The route is pretty easy. We're right here in Puerto Williams. You can kind of see our spot. Looks like we're having some loading problems. We're gonna come right up. 
around here we'll actually create our our route right now let's see there's our first second i'm gonna go right up here right by this buoy and let's zoom out a little bit now we're probably gonna have to tack up wind so most likely our route is going to look somewhat like this And then we will get here into Ushuaia. And the plan is to go right into here and probably grab a mooring ball in the uh, yacht club or the uh, FSCN right here. So that's it, right there. Okay, that's where we're headed. Let's go already, I'm tired of sitting here, come on. All right, cameras are rolling, so let's get it going. We left hacking out of the bay in five knots of wind, leaving the engine on in case we needed help around the moored sailboats or to avoid the kelpie shallow spots. Getting the number three around the inner force day with no breeze was quite the workout as well, but eventually the wind shut off completely and we motored out into the channel, which made for some great whale watching before the wind filled in from the west. Well guys, we made it out of Puerto Williams and we finally got some breeze flowing 11 to 12 knots. And it's a beautiful sunshiny day so far. I'm gonna knock on wood because I don't want the sun to go away. We saw a whale as we were leaving and it was super calm and flat. And so we just kind of motored by, tried to take some nice pictures of them. So um, yeah, now we've got our old sails out and we're full steam ahead upwind down the Beagle Channel here. Let's take a look.
Welcome to Ushuaia. We are just getting in here from Puerto Williams. Uh, I'm not sure what time it is, but the sun is going down. Hopefully we can make it in there with a little bit of light in order to make docking just a little bit easier. But this is it. This is our first time in Argentina. We are very excited to get here and check off a new country. Welcome to Argentina. Towards the end of the trip, we furled the jib again in perfectly flat water. It was so weird seeing quite a big city once again. Hey guys, we are here in Ushuaia and it's pouring down rain slash snow and uh, yeah, we're gonna try to get a taxi over into town so that we can officially check in. Uh, we are at the dock that's on the opposite side of town because we heard it's a better place to stay with the boat, but we are far away from all the checking in and unfortunately the weather is a bit cold and rainy, but uh, hopefully our taxi will arrive soon. Hopefully, this is our first time trying it out, so uh, yeah, we're gonna go make copies of the documents we need and then check in. Whew. Okay, I'm gonna put my hand back in my pocket to warm it up. <laughs> well, we waited for the taxi for a half hour and with the weather, they did not show. So we are lucky to grab a ride with a fellow boater here and it is just starting to snow. Well, we are just leaving the Prefectura, which is our first stop, checking the boat in, and then we head to Immigration, Customs, and then back to the Prefectura. Hopefully, everything goes smoothly. We heard we need four copies, and they only gave us two. So, maybe we might need to find a print shop or something. We will see. All right, the journey continues. Alright guys, we made it to immigration. We waited 25 minutes for them to come to the office as per our phone call request. But it was not too bad at all, but just kind of different. And then we went to the Adonis where we had to get special badges and then wait for them to fill out the paperwork, which wasn't too bad, but it was different. And now I'm out of breath because we are running ah, to get to the prefecture before they close. So we're almost done and hopefully we can take a break from the rain. Go, go, go. If you guys have ever seen one of those TV shows where people have to travel the world and do a scavenger hunt, that is what today feels like. Yes. And it's like a puzzle. There's a time limit. We're racing against the clock. Yeah. We have to be back before three o'clock. Otherwise, the first tour closes, and we have to. But we get disqualified. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah. Okay. We can do We're it. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. 
Okay, Bye. we gotta shut the camera off. Keep running. <laughs> we made it to the Prefectura just before closing, and thus we're finally all checked in after the amazing race. We could sleep comfortably at the dock for a night, a place Sweet Ruka hasn't seen in quite some time. Join us next week as we navigate Argentina for only a few short days before setting sail back to Chile for yet another surprise adventure. A special thank you to our patrons for making these videos possible. Don't forget to click subscribe and come along for the ride. See you next time!